Good morning fishing folks. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, well, I'm Slick. You're watching Bucket Mouth Outdoors. Shut up, Shut up and, and sit down. down. We're gonna do a little something different today. We got a bit of a product showcase this morning. Let me tell you what we got. We got spinner baits and chatter baits, yo. Spinner baits and chatter baits. So I, I, I love to support small business any chance I get. Any chance I get, I support small business. And I love to support new and small bait makers. I love to try new baits from anybody that's trying to break into the into the market with all the, the big company bait makers out there. You know, you got you got Guggen, for one. You all know I love Guggen baits. This isn't a diss on them. But they, they've become a, a huge bait maker and they started from scratch. And that's that's one of the reasons I support them. God, there's, there's a million of them. They're, they're all fine, they're all fine. I don't have a problem with them. I love to find new bait makers. I like to give these new bait makers a shot and test out their products. Today we're gonna, we're gonna try out some baits from a small company in Quebec, Tennessee called Gump Spinner Baits. And uh, he, he makes wire baits. He started the, he started a, a firearm store back in 2019. I've talked to him, he's a great guy. Talked to him through email. And uh, I actually found him on TikTok. I contacted him and followed him through his, through his Facebook page and YouTube and, and found his email and contacted him and told him, you know, I'd like to try out your baits. And so he sent me some and we're gonna try them today. He started a, a firearm store back in 2019. With, it was him, his dad, and a good friend of theirs. Then the pandemic hit. Like a lot of small businesses, it just it, it didn't make it. So he thought, well, heck, I'm going to do something that I've always done. And he started selling baits. Right now, he's, he's selling them locally. The locals just call him up, let him know what they want, and he makes it. And he's selling them on his Square store. Um, I'll put the, the link here for a Square store. And the link all the links to his social media and his website and everything will be in the description y'all go check him out it's they're awesome baits they're all made in the united states all the all the components are made in the united states he makes spinner baits chatter chatters um they're they're basically a chatter bait um jigs and spoons the guy's name is brandon bain and like i said you know he's out of Quebec, Tennessee. Um, great guy. And talking with him, he told me all about his his business. He's he's trying to get his business going, but it's also something that he loves doing. Now, like I said, Brandon Brandon told me that this is basically a hobby that he he loves doing. But I'd like to see his business take off and flourish. So you know, if y'all are in the in the market for some new wire baits, then and give him a, give him a shot. I mean, they're they're quality baits. Like I said, all all American components. He's on Facebook and YouTube. Like I said, I'm going to put all the links down in the description. But let's let's check out his baits. Oh, and don't mind the uh, the water jugs in the back of the pickup. I, I I tried three different places yesterday to replace water, and uh, apparently they're running low on water. Can't get the deliveries. So who knew? All right, y'all. So here are the spinner baits, and I brought some uh, Guggen Saucy swimmers to add as trailers. But here's the spinner baits. This this great big old thing here, it's got a huge willow blade and a Colorado blade on it. This is three quarter ounce, and he makes ounce and a half spinner baits. I mean, he makes some huge baits. But as you can see, they're they're good looking baits. They got a twist up in the top to keep your line from sliding. They got some beads on there. That one doesn't have any beads, but we're probably gonna tie that one on. It's a three eighths with a willow blade. Here's another three quarter ounce. Here's the shatter chatter, and I'll figure out here in a second which. Uh, saucy swimmer to add to the back of each one but i'm going to start out with a frog i've got a uh, guggen micro frog tied on you've seen it in another video i i gotta try the frog bite this early in the morning the birds are just waking up and i've, I've probably woke everything up in my loud mouth but let's let's go get it wet and see if we can't keep it bent all right y'all we've got the spinner bait tied on put a darker trailer on it i did bring a, a 
some soft plastics and a backup worm. And I've got the fro tied on the spinning rod. I just saw something down here. Let's get the frog in the water first. Y'all know I'm always chasing that frog bite. Perfect. Oh, something took it. I pulled it out of its mouth. That's a good sign. Get back in there. I didn't even see that one take it. All right, y'all, we're gonna give it a go with these gump spinner baits. And uh, I about wore that corner out over there with that frog. I got a couple good bites, but how the, the times that I could have uh, set the hook, I just missed the bite. And I haven't fished this pond in a while, so I don't know what's going on in here. I know I've done pretty decent with just little dink bass with, on soft plastics, but uh, rooster tails, rooster tails do good in here and so do, do, so do beetle spins. There we go. Oh, daggone it. He nailed it right there at the bank. So if we can't get him to bite again. I think I may have my bait twisted up. Oh no. That one's not gonna work. I lost my blade off the top. I was wondering why it was coming in so easy. Let's get a different bait. All right, y'all. We've got the white shatter chatter. It's a chatter bait. We'll put this clear and pearl saucy swimmer on there. These hooks are sharp. Oh, this one's got a hook keeper on or a bait keeper on it. There we go. Looks good. That's a three quarter ounce. Look at the big old head on that dog. Looks like a looks like a St. Bernard I'm fishing with. Oh yeah, it feels good too. Oh yeah, that thing's got all kinds of thump. All right, y'all. Put this chatter bait on. Shatter, chatter, chatter donkey. I uh, bit down the saucy swimmer a little bit, give it a little bit smaller presentation. I know these bass in here aren't huge, so maybe they want something a little bit smaller. It's a three eighths ounce chatter bait. Thumps like crazy. If we don't get bit on this thing, then the bass just aren't biting. Oh, we got something. There we go. See y'all, I knew, I knew that the chatterbait would get it done. I knew it. There we go. Ooh, ooh, they're chilly. There we go, y'all. That's about, that's about the size of the bass in here. So I knew downsizing a little bit would be good. Thank you, buddy. Well, Gump's baits work. I'm probably going to get on this website and buy some more because I'm really digging these. I especially like these chatter baits. I got to get a new uh, willow leaf for the one that broke. But I mean, stuff like that happens with every baits. Don't don't judge his baits by that. They're they're well made. But I mean, like I said, stuff happens. I've had Guggen baits come apart. You know, I I I love them. All right, y'all. I'm gonna. Pop a bandito bug in here around these sticks. Give a little bit of finesse for a few seconds. And see if I can't pick up another bass just to boost the confidence a little bit. 
we got a bandito bug junior on there with a pretty light tungsten weight there we go what do we got here the smallest bass of the day come on little guy oh come on we can do this there we go thank you little buddy you were hungry there you go y'all dink of the day on the bandito bug jr thank you buddy thank you lord swimmer let's get another one on there all right y'all we'll put a white saucy swimmer on there this time see if they show up any better maybe get us a couple more bass there we go Chatter donkey, chatter donkey, getting her done. Right in the side of the mouth. He inhaled that. All right, y'all. There we go. Bass number three. Let's see if we can get a couple more. We got a happy fish out there. Got one already. As soon as it hit the water. It ain't big, but man, that thing was fighting. Come here. Come here. There we go, y'all. Gumps Baits. The Shatter Chatter. They love it. Thank you, buddy. All right, y'all, let's move on down. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but there's a huge hornet's nest right up there in that tree. This thing is massive. I don't see any hornets around it, but we're gonna boogie on out of here just in case. Started out going fishing today and now we're just catching. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go, y'all. Gump spinner baits. I tore it up on that shatter chatter. We caught what four or five fish? I, I don't know. I, I lose count after two or three. Um, I, I just I'm having so much fun. I don't I don't care how many it just it's a blast um, Not big ones. I had planned on taking the kayak out today to a bigger body of water You know how stuff happens don't always get a chance to do exactly what you want to do So we came out here to this pond y'all check them out gump spinner baits gumps custom spinner baits He's on TikTok. He's on Facebook I'm pretty sure he's on Instagram. I'll, I'll link everything on the screen and in the description like I said but I hope you all enjoyed this. Get out there and support small, small business. Y'all keep it bent. Get the hell out of my fishing spot. Later.